Hello everyone and welcome. It's Kathy Koliakovo with PepperAtMarketing.com and today we're going to discuss the new Facebook business page layout. I laid this out in a previous article on my newsletter but kind of decided it was a little confusing. So I tried a Facebook Live video but it's not actually as effective a Facebook Live video as a screen share might be for something like this. So today we're going to walk you through a screen share on the new layout on the business pages that changed in the summer of 2016 on Facebook. So the first thing that you'll notice is that the cover image is no longer cut out by your profile image. It always used to be sort of here on the screen and that has changed. So you may want to look at laying out your image a little better like I had mine a little off to the side a bit. Um, so I'm probably going to redo this and create another one where I'm not moving things over to the right hand side of the image so much. The other thing with this change is the image size has changed very slightly. Uh, it used to be 851 pixels by 315 high. Uh, it's now 828 and uh, it's still 315 high. So you want to um, create a new image size when you're making that. And the other thing to pay attention to as well is that the image itself is um, has also changed in respect that you can view it on mobile in a different way. So you'll want to look at making sure um, you have a certain area, 133 pixels over here on the left and 133 pixels over on the right. What will show in the middle there will be what shows up on mobile. So that will be really important for you to pay attention to when you're designing the image in order that you can make sure that if people are looking at on the mobile version that they'll be able to see the important part in the middle. So that's something you'll be able to check out as well. Okay. Um, the next thing that has changed is the call to action button which used to be across the cover photo. Um, it has moved to underneath it. So this is great. It means you also can create an image that has nothing blocking it anymore which I love. Um, so you want to make sure that you go through test. You know I always think it's a good idea to test that button every month just to make sure it's still working and you'll want to have it connected to something that's effective for your business. Typically I recommend this gets connected to one of your lead magnets, something that is a free offer or download that people can uh, sign up for and get on your email marketing list. The other thing that's changed is the profile image has moved over to the top left. It's still going to be the same one that you see on all the posts. Um, the size has changed just a little but for most people the um, image isn't going to change at all uh, in what you could see or not see on that. You may need to look at switching it down to a smaller sized image. Uh, 160 pixels by 160 will do you well. The other thing that you'll see right away when you're an administrator on a page is that your insights are now right here in a little button and if you want to see them all you would click the button that says see all over here. Okay. The um, next thing that has changed is there used to be more tabs that you could see up here across the image. Those have all moved down on the left hand side in this menu. And the other thing that you'll note here is you've got a drop down but it has very different information. It's more your page settings information. Um, do you want to view the page as a visitor? Do you want to invite friends, create an event? Different things like that. So that's another area that you would want to look at. Um, one thing that's in here that I do like is this button like as your page because it's a lot easier to uh, like other business pages that way as a business page if you hit that button. So you'll want to do a review on the menu down here and make sure that all the posts are still the same, um, all the tabs go to where you want it to go to and if you want to change the order of them or anything hit the manage tabs. You can do the add or remove. It'll let you move them around, take them off if you want to do that uh, depending on how you want to have things set up. So that's where you would go do that is under the manage tabs. One thing that I've really noticed um, is a very slow load time on these new pages. So um, 
it, I don't know why, but it just takes a little while to upload that. So prior to this, you would have hit in the button timeline to take a look at the feed or whatever. Now you just want to hit page if you want to see what you've been posting on your page. The other thing that has changed is the about information on the business is actually now showing on the right hand side. It's also changed what it is showing and not. Um, you see the type of page, your hours if you have it. One thing that's new, and I never noticed this on previous pages or not, but if you wanted to search um, posts on this page for something, which can come in handy if you went to a page and said, oh, I remember I was looking at that and I saw something over there, you want to go back to the page and find it? Then you can go in, type in a word, and it'll pull you up uh, posts from the page that have those words that you're looking for in it. So here it would look through and it's going to give me anything that's talking about blogs or blogging on it. Okay. Um, the next area that you're going to see is the response time, if you've got that going on or not. How many likes are on the page and how many of your friends like that page. You'll see your main uh, post reach that you would see on the page which that typically is the same as the big number that you're going to see on the insights over here. Um, yeah, 3968, so you're still seeing that information and this link will still take you to your insights for that page. Um, if you want to invite friends to like the page, the button's there. Um, I'm going to show you this in a minute, but this is how you see pages feed. So this is what used to be the home feed of your business page. This is now how you see the feed of other business pages you like as your business. Uh, we'll go there in a second. You're about information on the website or on the business, the address if you have it, phone number, all of that information, any upcoming events. And then if you've used some of these different tabs to create different apps and have an image that sends people to these certain areas, those are also going to be in there and connected. So I have this connected, for instance, from my email marketing system, Aweber, so that people can click that button and sign up for my free download on the Ultimate Marketing Master List directly from Facebook. They don't have to go to my business page or my business website in order to do that. So that's me setting up a couple different tabs that I've set up over here connected to certain areas. Um, your outline of photos that you've posted on the page will be there, videos are underneath it, and then your visitors post, which is, is an important area for business pages. Um, I don't like that it's moved down so low because it is important. If people are posting stuff on your business page or posting comments to you, you should make sure you're paying attention to that and ensure that um, you're responding to it as well, which is more important. Um, people that like other pages, pe pages that my business page has liked are here, as well as reviews. Um, so if people have reviewed your business online, then you would be seeing the reviews on there. I notice I don't have any reviews, and if anybody listening would love to go post me a review, I would love that if you would fill that in. And if you do and send me a little note that you have, I'll send you something uh, something free, something cool that will help you with your social media marketing. So uh, feel free to visit facebook.com slash pepper at marketing, go down to reviews and post a review on my business. Um, so those are the main areas that you've got to look at here. Um, one of the first things I would tell you to change that the two big things that you want to look at is your cover image and then your call to action button. Um, and hopefully if you haven't been using that then this will have taught you to go in and use it. You just hit edit the button. You can pick whatever link you want it to go to and make that say certain different varieties of of options on there. So I like to make sure that I have mine in my free downloads in here and I hit sign up on that. So that is the main two things. So check your call to action button. Make sure you're using it for your free offer, your lead magnet for your email marketing list, and then also check your cover image and update that if you want to as well. Of course, my favorite way to make a new image on for a Facebook cover image, of course, is Canva, which is very easy to do. The one thing that you'll find with it right now is their Facebook covers are still in the other size, so you may have to edit that. Um, they are still at the 851 by 315 size. You'll want to edit that to 828. And then ignore the space in the template that they're giving you that this will block out of it um, because that will no longer be there if you have the new cover um, or Facebook business page layout. 
So that is all that I have for today on the new layout on the Facebook business pages. If you're looking for more information and tips, please visit pepperitmarketing.com. I have all sorts of free offers and downloads there that will help kickstart your marketing for your business. Have a fabulous day.